Arnold Beckman epitomizes the American dream, a scientist who rose to success in education, in business, and is one of the nation's top philanthropists. His inventions have helped scientists the world over save and help millions of lives. Arnold Orville Beckman was born in 1900 in the small farming town of Cullum, Illinois, the son of a blacksmith. A book he discovered in the dusty family attic started his interest in science. As a nine-year-old boy, he read Steele's 14 Weeks in Chemistry. During his high school days in normal Illinois, Arnold Beckman made his first visits to the University of Illinois, where a teacher had encouraged him to use some electronic photography equipment. Arnold Beckman set his studies aside during World War I and joined the U.S. Marines. While on base in Brooklyn, he met a young woman named Mabel, who would become his wife. They were married in 1925. He received his bachelor's degree from the University of Illinois in chemical engineering in 1922 and a master's in physical chemistry the following year. Arnold Beckman then headed west to the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena for his doctoral studies. His constant search for solutions led him to become an inventor. A classmate of mine from the University of Illinois uh, and Thomas was working out at the California Fruit Growers Exchange and he had to measure the acidity of lemon juice that had been heavily dosed with sulfur dioxide. Arnold Beckman solved the problem with the invention of the first pH meter, a device that sparked an industry. And with that, he left Caltech to enter the corporate world of research instrumentation. By now, components of his pH meter were being used in a wide variety of other instruments, including the spectrophotometer, which opened a new era of analyzing organic material. In the 1940s, a small part in a Beckman pH meter led to production of the NTL helipot. The helipot became an integral component in a then secret device called radar. Only a few years later, Beckman began manufacturing an oxygen analyzer. The Navy put them on its submarines. But the analyzer's real life-saving use came in the nursery where some premature babies were going blind due to a poor oxygen mix. That application created a worldwide boom for the company now called Beckman Coulter. The company continued to grow in the 1950s, 60s, 70s and 80s into the areas of biotechnology and medicine. The company and its founder were a huge success. The business made Arnold and Mabel Beckman a wealthy couple. Then, in his 80s, Arnold Beckman sold the company and decided to invest in future researchers with the creation of the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation. I thought here this money was, was uh, accumulated by selling instruments to scientists. Let's give the money back to scientists. That's where it came from. They're, they should have the first priority on it. In the middle 1980s, the foundation granted mega gifts one of the first built the Beckman Institute at the University of Illinois, Dr. Beckman's alma mater. I recognize a need for facilities in these various things, and uh, so I thought, let's put up a facility on there that'll be useful, I'll be served for many years to come, so it'll carry out my desire to have whatever I'm doing the benefits would extend some years into the future. There would be other institutes at Caltech, at Cal Irvine, the City of Hope Institute near Los Angeles, and at Stanford. All told, Dr. and Mrs. Beckman have contributed more than $350 million to the advancement of research and education, ranking them among the greatest philanthropists of all time. Well, I hope that the institutes will be carrying on what I wish to have carried on in the field of research. Mm -hmm. So they're the good mechanism for implementing this. Mabel Beckman passed away in 1989, ending a magical 64-year marriage. She shared with me all my life 
And uh, so she was entitled to recognition as much as Arnold Beckman was. The Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation hopes to find and encourage the future Arnold Beckmans of the world. The Beckman at Science program reaches to the youngest scientist. It is designed to encourage those still in grade school. Today, it is hard to imagine what life would be like without the inventions of Arnold Beckman, devices which make the food supply safer, new technologies in medicine and laboratory science, and a radar component that makes today's sophisticated flight systems possible. His pH meter is ranked as one of the top inventions of the 20th century. But Arnold Beckman's greatest gifts to the world may be his rules for life. The most important virtue of all is integrity. If we don't have integrity, all other virtues become meaningless because you won't know which one to believe. If, you, if what you're doing, if you're not enthusiastic about it, you ought to change it because you live only once. And if you're smart, you'll make every day of that filled with as much enthusiasm as possible. Arnold Beckman is an American icon who has proven to the world there is no satisfactory substitute for excellence.